Hey everyone, this is Hellcow playing a Mega Man 2 Spooktacular! You can tell because Air Man's really kind of misshapen looking. He's by far the, like, has the weirdest silhouette of all the Mega Mans. Like, other than some obvious exceptions we're going to see in a few- Oh no, it's a bird right at the start, so Air Man! Air Man has bird, has air tiki, there it is! It's big and it's granular! It has tiny horns, okay, so we're starting with the tiki to tiki jump. Right from the start, not losing any time. We're going right there from the start. <laughs> Actually, there's just kind of a few of them. It's a little bit awkward. <laughs> hey, birds, coming on here on the Air Tiki Parade. Let's go. Bird in a cloud has things to say. All right, last time people were upset that I didn't check out. Check it out, it's Metal Gear. You can throw three very quickly and have a wheel of gears. It's pretty great that that's Clash. It's whoa, check it. It's a big bomb. It doesn't look anything like what Clashman actually threw. I did it. I demoed weapons. I'm gonna fall in a hole. Um, uh, I'm gonna slide down a hole. <laughs> what a weird little point to have. I did it. Oh, okay, you can see that down there is a hole you don't want to fall in. Because there's that, like, like darkness, you no, know, the ever-increasing pit of despair is right there, saying hello, and you're like, Hi, despair pit! How you doing on today? And there's fan feet while you're on your tiki! You're getting all mixed up and squeezy! You don't want to squeeze your organs if you can avoid it, please. Dang it. Oh, jeez, this is, like... Oh man, say what you want about this game. It mixes up elements from the real Mega Man 2 in an interesting way. Ergo was there in the first Mega Man Game Boy game, and now he's in the second one too, but way easier to deal with. He just like gets killed instantly. It's just like, just you no, know, drive right up to his cloud, and then he throws a big plastic looking cloud, uh, lightning, and I died. I'm not proud of it, but I died. Like, it happened. Like, I'm gonna have to die eventually, but, like, it's very obvious there that the reason why I died is because that big old cloud peanut. No, it's because I was taking the game for granted. Like, I wasn't taking it seriously, and, uh... There you go. I died. I, like, I just jumped right into the Aragoro's robot body. And, as it happens with robots in real life, when a robot touches another robot, they feel incredible artificial pain at a level that we humans would not even be able to understand. They did that so that robots wouldn't, you know, align with other robots and do a robot revolution, although it feels a little, like, unethical. Can you really apply ethics to machines? Scientists hope that the answer is no. I did it. I'm, oh, what? You're not even supposed to go here? This robot, the, the ro worm bot, is just there to worm bot? Why are you here, worm bot? There's a gl glitchy black line that was happening on the screen, and then I fell here. I could have fell into the doom, but I didn't. But that white one is there. Whoa! <laughs> underneath an air tiki, that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, man. I got to exist underneath an air tiki. See, like, the game tries stuff. Well, maybe not in this level that much, but it tries. Why does Air Man have whiskers? Let's my bullets go through. Oh, that's interesting. So he's got this pattern where you have to slide underneath, and you got this. Like, so something you have to realize about Air Man is that it's a lot easier to deal with his. Whoops! His knee to the face if you don't get knee in the face. It's a lot easier to deal with his tornado maze if you, uh. Like. Try to be more uh, preemptive about going through it. Like, don't wait until he starts to blow. Like, go at it now. But I realize it's pretty difficult. Wait, can you just fireman, airman in this game? It's sure looking that way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, airman. You and your silly little whiskers are trying so hard, just like this game. But it's just not panning out, just like this game. I mean, like. You know how in business it's kind of accepted? There's like three things, right? And when you're dealing with a company and you want a product from them, you want one, a good product, two, quickly, three, for cheap. 
is gonna hold the rushes, by the way. Uh, this game, like, like in the laws of business, is of those three, you get to pick two. This game feels like Capcom went for cheap and quick, you know, and so basically this seems like the product of a company that were was underfunded and was under a pretty huge time crunch and just did what the best they could and what they had. And if that's the truth, like they did their best and it shows, but it's always sad when the best you could ends up being below mediocre, right? Like, it's just tragic.